Hey guys, it's Lexi9 here and we are back with another video and today we will be doing another solo commentary because, you know, you guys seem to really enjoy the last solo commentary and we must have originally with that. But today I kind of just wanted to share like something about my life and that's going to be talking about how I used to have a slime shop. Yes, slime, the thing you make with glue and borax and you know... It became very popular on Instagram, and I mean, it's still kind of popular, but, but, so a couple of years ago, I started to see slime on Instagram, and you know, it interests me. I was like, oh, this is pretty cool, this looks like fun. And so, get out of my face. There we go. And so, when I started seeing it, I started to follow some accounts, and then I had a I ended up buying a slime and I was like, whoa, this is pretty cool, this is fun. And so when I bought a slime, I was like, you know, I want to make a an account just to post a video to show that like their slime is good because I wanted to like help them out, you know? I'm gonna let this person come up. And so I bought it, I posted a video, it was honestly really bad, but no 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 no. But after I made one video, I was like, whoa. And it got a lot of views because the person ended up posting it on their story that I posted a review for them. And so I was like, well, I got this many views just from posting, like, a one-minute video playing with slime. I was like, that's pretty cool. So I was like, why don't I start making my own slime and posting it and getting views, and then I could end up selling my slime. And, I mean, like, the slime sold for a good amount of money. I'm sorry, I want this final. Yeah, that was my final, sir. And so I started making some slime, started posting it, getting some views, getting followers, you know how it be. And it was a lot of fun and I enjoyed it. And then what came up was a slime convention. And at this convention, there will be like the the more popular creators that made slime would get to sell their slime, and then some people got to apply. And so one went on and it honestly looked like a ton of fun. Just of making slime, spending slime, it, I'm spending slime, spending money on slime. And so one went on and it looked like a lot of fun. So then once I heard about the second one coming up, I was like, oh, I want to go to that. That would be so much fun. And this one was in Connecticut. Take in mind, I live in Michigan. So, I mean, it, it, was, a, it was a good, like... Good amount of oh my bed's gone. Uh. No. Okay, so take in mind it was it was a long drive that we would have to take. Oh, uh, t excuse me, excuse me, game. When I talked with it to my parents, they thought that maybe we could make it work, but then I would have to end up probably paying for a good amount of it, cause like tickets were kind of expensive, and then it was a long drive. And so I was actually able to go and I was so happy to go. It was a lot of fun to just like being in a spot that and we fell. <laughs> Can you stop, sir? It was a lot of fun. I spent actually a lot of money on slime. I spent like over a hundred dollars on slime. Like I was literally broke after that. I had saved up this money and it, it was gone. But I had a lot of fun and it really like then I had so many more slimes to post. So then I did that for a bit. I don't know why I'm bridging over because I literally don't have TNT. We're just gonna talk up here, Shrimp. Do you wanna hear my story? Yeah, I do. Then I went to the convention, got to meet some of the people that I followed, bought a lot of slime. It was a lot of fun. Oh my goodness. So then after that convention, they scheduled another one. And I was like, I want to go. And this time, uh, I applied to be like one of the people that sold their slime. Like I had around maybe a thousand followers at this time, I think. I don't know, maybe a little bit over a thousand. But, you know, so I, I, had a, I had a decent amount for, like, a smaller creator. But, hi, Granny. Oh, 
Okay, this is bad. Come on, come on. I know he's above me, I'm just gonna keep going. Oh, there he is. Fall! Yes! It's a great suicide. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm proud of that. That was good. Okay, and so when I applied to this, I was like, there's a small chance of getting in, but I still want to. And so in this time, we didn't buy any tickets. We just waited until, um, until we heard of anything. And so maybe a month or so goes by. I honestly can't remember how, like, long of a difference it was. But then I get an email saying that I got accepted to sell at one of the biggest slime conventions, like, that's ever been hosted. Because, like, in this time, like, smaller people were creating slime conventions and stuff like that. But this was the one that, like, everyone went to. Like, hundreds of people would go to. They ended up making over 100 slimes for it. And I honestly didn't need that many. Because since I was a smaller creator, like, people aren't going to buy from the small creators. They want the, the well-known creators and the higher-ranked slime. Because I was like, well, I don't want to run out. Because what if I ended up doing really well? And then I was like, oh, I have no more. Then I would be out, like, a good amount of money. So that, that was my mindset. I tried some slimes with you. I met some people. It was honestly just a fun experience once again. And this time I got to sell. So I made some money out of it. And I got to be one of the sellers. And so it was cool to be known as a seller. And some, um, in this I also made some slime friends. And they actually also got into what was called Slimer Alley, so that was the smaller creators. And so I got to hang out with them, meet them for the very first time, and oh my god, it was so great. It was a two-day convention, and then I ended up having Olive Garden with one of my friends, and oh my god, so we're still really good friends to this day. Like, I have around Snap and stuff like that, so we, we still talk, and it was awesome. People about my school knew about my slime account, and then I hit like 2,000 followers and so this was pretty cool I was like I'm doing well in this I'm selling I had an Etsy shop too I would sell to people at my school they'd be like yo Haley can I get some slime and I was like yes sir ah yeah how'd that work for you oh dang it oh we're the last two people that's, that's probably important information no so I hit like 2,000 subscribers, and then there was another convention that was in Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah, that's where it was. I was trying to remember, and I couldn't remember. Oh, wow. But it was in Cleveland, and so I applied there. It was a smaller convention. It wasn't one of the, the big ones. It was run by someone else. But So I applied to that one. I got in. It was a really small convention, but it was one of the most fun ones that I've ever went to. Because since it was such a small convention, we could, like, um, just go hang out with our friends and we didn't have to stay at our booth the whole time. So, like, it's kind of, like, a bad business. But there really weren't a lot of people coming to buy, so we just hung out together, mixed some slime together, just played with slime, had a good time. And in that, it's really cool to be around people that 100% get what you do and what you love and are passionate about what you do. Like, and I haven't really been to a lot of conventions, but that's probably what people at, like, VidCon feel like. Like, no one is like, well, you stay home on your computer all day? Like, what a loser. No, they all understand, and they all get it, and they all are as passionate about it as you are. And so, that's why I really enjoyed it. I wouldn't, like, take back doing slime. It's something that was a part of my life for a couple of years, and I, I really just enjoyed it. But just recently, like a couple months ago, I decided that it was time to end slime because even before that, um, slime was kind of dying, my, my account was dying, come on, so to end it, my, my account was dying, slime in general was dying, a lot of people were quitting, and just my account was dead, I wasn't motivated, I also just didn't want to post videos anymore because they didn't like it. I, I just wasn't happy with what I was doing and it felt like more work than fun to do and when it's like a hobby like and it 
it's more frustrating than fun and it, like it takes you away from other things you want to do so that's what slime was for me like it took time to record to find good lighting and then I recently got a puppy in November and so then I was always taking care of the dog and then there was extra dog hair everywhere and it's it was just a hassle so I decided to end my account with around it was either 2.3 or 2.4k like I, I can't look now because I've lost followers since I quit but I decided to sell my supplies and put the money towards other things that I enjoy and so yeah now I'm, now I'm back on YouTube and I'm so excited to be here that that's why I quit before because I was doing slime and so I put my full focus into slime and now we are back putting our full focus into YouTube and so thank you guys so, so much for listening to my story getting to know some more about my life and I will see you guys in the next video and oh wait wait Le leave some uh, like ideas for like what you want to talk about like obviously it's my life so you won't know the exact things but like like types of stories you want to hear because I I'd love to share them with you and um I'll see you guys in the next video goodbye